Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello. Skin coating. If you use some basic tips, you can avoid a lot of time consuming sanding and, and finishing of your, of your work. That's the texture I'm looking to cover. And it's typical for Florida or any other walls that you're coating. I'm going to show you three strokes. Now, here's one of them. What do you think? That's the typical do-it-yourselfer. And let me add a little of this. Okay? That's how you make peanut butter sandwiches. That's not how you skim coat. Now, I'm going to show you another possibility. Here we go. So you got your mud on the knife. You spread it out. And then you, you do this. What do you think? No good. That's how you spread peanut butter on a piece of bread and give it to a child who's been very bad all day. You don't give them much. See that? You didn't do anything there. And then there's this. And that's how you spread peanut butter when you love peanut butter and your cholesterol is just a little high because you love it so much. You put it on just right. That's how you do it. Too thick is no good. Too thin is no good. But if you just cover the tops of the texture you might be able to get away with one coat if you're really good, or definitely no more than two coats. Basic tools is a hawk, H-A-W-K, and a taping knife. This is a 10 inch taping knife, but for those of you with small hands, get yourself an eight inch. Notice how I'm holding it. One finger, your hand may be more comfortable with two. Uh, practice on the wall, get to see the flexibility of the knife. You don't want a thick um, stainless steel blade. You want it to have some play in it. You see that? It's going to do a bad... First of all, it's, if it's too thick, it's going to be too hard on the, on the plaster. You want something that flexes. You may be more comfortable with a carbon steel blade. They're really good. They just rust. Now, let's talk about the texture. What are you doing when you skim coat? Okay. There are lows and highs. My finger now is riding on the highs. The lows are those things that go in, like right there. That's a low. My blade will never touch that area. It'll ride over it. <clears throat> now, if we look at the blade, if 
from the sky, you'll see there's a space there. It's no more than an eighth of an inch. So, question. If the thickness you're looking for is one eighth of an inch, why are you putting it on like this? That's three sixteenths of an inch. Why are we doing this? If it's an eighth of an inch, why are we doing that? Now, understanding what you're doing is important to doing it right. The angle at which you dispense your compound will determine the thickness. If I pull my blade at a 90 degree angle, I take it all off. But if I pull my blade at a 45 or less, but greater than 20, I'm putting on the right amount. Look, here's 45, I'm sorry, here's 90, right? And that's 45. And this is 20, check this out. I like 20, 20 degrees. 20 degrees allows me to ride on the highs. <clears throat> Remember the highs? I can feel them as I come down. If you can't feel when you're coming down, it means you're not pressing hard enough on the blade. Watch, listen. That's too much, you're hearing too much because you're, you're pulling it all off as you're putting it on. But watch this, watch the difference in sound. Ha ha. You get it? So it's not a 90. I like spreading my first layer of compound, first layer, at about 20 degrees. And so this is what it looks like when you do that. This is just getting your compound onto the wall. It doesn't really matter the angle you use it. Just getting it on, you know? Okay. Now that my compound's in place, I can start to, shall we say, finish it. Look at the angle. Okay, not bad, right? What do you think? Okay, so now from here to here is about 40 inches. And it's about one, two, three, about four feet, okay? So 
just to smooth it all out. I'm using ready mix joint compound, ready mix, otherwise known as topping compound. And I'm preparing this wall for wallpaper. Okay. Yeah, don't keep touching this. I don't have many lines on it. It's a pretty good job. And if you don't have to sand this, you, you, you're really good, you know? What happens when you, after you first coat, you may get that line, you see that line right there? Right there? After it's dry, you just go like this to the line. Comes right off. Let's do the rest of it. Earlier this morning, I did this area, and these are the lines I'm talking about. When you go around things, you generally get lines. Now, with a clean blade, you just go up to them gently. Do you see any need to sand this before a second coat? No. The more you practice, the better you're going to get. Happy skimming. See you on the next video.